30 seconds on my mark. Mark. 30 second stations. Fifteen seconds till airtime stations on my mark. Mark. Fifteen seconds. Have fun. The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is Carson Newman Basketball on the Eagles Sports Network. Corner, down, catch three, nylon, Grishel, Eagles lead. We're getting you set for game day with a countdown to tip off, powered by Appalachian Electric Cooperative. Bridgewater, right corner, flashes, open, three, yes, sir. Caleb Bridgewater connects on the 17th three of the day for Carson Newman. Carson Newman basketball is brought to you in part by Appalachian Electric Cooperative. We're AEC, powering the Eagles and Mossy Creek. By Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. By the Eagle Club, the family of Eagles. By Pepsi, that's what I like. By Magaha Electric, providing quality electrical services and products to East Tennessee for more than 40 years. By First Bank, the official banking partner of Carson Newman Athletic, Inner Digital, IT support and marketing, laser focused on your success. By the Bible Insurance Agency, the agency that's service built. By Lisa's Country Kitchen, the best food for the best prices. By Food City, value every day. By Trilight, dream big with gig. By Modern Woodman Financial Planning, touching lives and securing futures. And by ShopCNEagles.com, the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. Now, here's the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. Greetings, salutations, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you courtside to historic Frosty Holt Fieldhouse, where Carson Newman and Milligan are set to renew an old B sack rivalry. 65th meeting all time between these two storied East Tennessee schools. However, just the third time Carson Newman and Milligan will have played since the Eagles left the VSAC or the South Atlantic Conference in 1988 89. Eagles lead the all time ledger 54 wins against 12 losses. And of those 54 wins for Carson Newman, 41 have come by double digits even factoring in Milligan's 12 all-time wins Carson Newman's average margin of victory in the series or average margin uh, in the series forget victory average margin is 16.64 points per game you take just the wins Carson Newman on average against Milligan winning games by 22.69 points per game there have been some blowouts in this series all-time the only two 60-plus point wins in Carson Newman men's basketball history are against the Buffs. Eagles did that in 1965-66, won that one 109-43 to to set the school record for margin of victory at 66 points. Followed it up the next year, winning over the Buffs 106-42 to for a 64-point win. Only two 60-plus point wins in school history. Eagles, in fact, if you go through it, they've got four. 50-plus point wins, so two more on top of those 60-point uh, wins that we talked about. And then six wins of 40 or greater all-time against the Buffs. If you go through all of Carson Newman's 50-point uh, wins, 13 of them to be exact, 36% have been against Milligan. But that's a long time ago. Eagles met the Buffs and won by double digits in 2008 under Dale Clayton. In the last meeting, 11 years ago, in 2012, Carson Newman uh, prevailed by a final score of 101 to 68, 33 point win behind a combined 36 points from Colin Crane, who's now the men's basketball director of strength and conditioning at Georgia, and Ish Sanders, who just wrapped up an MVP season 
uh, for the Sunbury Jets in Australia's Pro Basketball League. So, got to go back a little bit from the last meeting between Carson Newman and Milligan, but a lot of history between these two schools who met every year from 1957 up until 1988 and oftentimes met multiple times a year. There is a degree of familiarity between these two schools in spite of not having played uh, for a little over a decade. First and foremost, you've got Alex Biggerstaff, an assistant coach on Milligan's uh, coaching staff. He was an assistant under Vic Fenora at Mars Hill for a number of years and brought Jay Hickman with him, who uh, is not clear to play today. Uh, you've got Luke Lintz, if you're a basketball fan of the South Atlantic Conference, the last name Lintz might ring a bell. That's because his grandfather, uh, John, is, at, well, the, the court at Shuford Gym is named from. Lenore Ryan, legendary head coach, uh, who coached the, the Bears for the better part of three decades. Uh, and then East Tennessee ties are, are there as well for Luke. His father, uh, Brian, one, played guard at Lenore Ryan, was a multi-year all-conference selection and a 1,000-point scorer. He's now an assistant coach uh, at the University of Tennessee for their men's basketball program. Uh, Luke, who is in a boot and won't be playing today, uh, he he did play for Limestone last year. So uh, there is, a, for two teams that haven't played in 11 years or members of different divisions, there is some degree of familiarity between these two clubs. When we get back on the AEC countdown to tip-off. We check in with Chuck Benson, his pregame comments. Head your way when we get back after these messages on the Eagles Sports Network. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern. Modern Woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracts needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. An interview with head coach Chuck Benson heads your way in 60 seconds on the Eagles Sports Network. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser focused on your success. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. <laughs> Time to check in with the Eagles head coach. Here's Chuck Benson alongside the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. All right back on the AEC countdown to tip off. Carson Newman taking on the Milligan Buffs for the first time in 11 years. Chuck, I'm going to start you off with a trivia question. Can you name the two players who combined for 36 points the last time that you faced Milligan 11 years ago? I have vivid memories of that day, actually, because uh, there was a young man on that Milligan team who was from my hometown, and so half the hometown showed up here. I was thinking they were here to support me. Little <laughs> did I know they were here to support the other kid. So, yeah, I remember that game vividly, uh, the letdown of my own town turning on me. Uh, 
But yeah, I do remember who, who 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 was cooking that day for the Eagles. It was one Ish Sanders and Colin Crane. Very, very good. I thought it was a little trick question. No Antoine Davis that day. Got hurt uh, in a game at Hiawassee. Uh, I, I, the, the, the Carson Newman went to Hiawassee, your worst decision as a head coach, to go to Hiawassee and play a game against an NCCAA school. Uh, um, but uh, some history here. Uh, Milligan, an old VSAC uh, rival. Uh, there's some uh, probably more familiar, familiarity than one would expect playing a team uh, – from the NAIA ranks, but assistant coach Alex Biggerstaff was on Vic Fenora's Mars Hill staffs uh, for several years. He brings Jay Hickman with him. Uh, and then Luke Lentz, the grandson of John Lentz, the son of uh, Tennessee assistant Brian Lentz, uh, is averaging 12 points a game for the Buffs. Uh, how, a little weird uh, this, that there's this much familiarity with a foe uh, that you haven't played in 11 years. Yeah, it's 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 unique. Uh, and it, make, it gives a little extra zest to the game for both sides. Uh, with KT Carter having played for John Lentz way back when, it, it, that, that's another little element yeah. in it. And um, you know, they got kids in that roster that we that we took some looks at too and made other decisions. But uh, we're just we're just excited to be playing again and playing an old foe and uh, doing it thankfully here at home. Uh, it, different than how you've done it so far this season. Uh, you've been on the football. Uh, grind just playing every Saturday uh, until now. Uh, you you got to go, go for the quick turnaround after coming back from Lander uh, with a nine point loss against a team that struggled to miss shots uh, in, in the second half. Uh, how do you approach things against a Milligan team that one can score some points but does it primarily with one guy uh, in Folly Bogan who's averaging 25 a night on a 50 47 71 slash? There, there are challenges. This is. Uh, probably the biggest team we've played so far in terms of just height they've proven they can win they went on the road and beat union university a d2 uh out in jackson tennessee which was a great road win for for uh, milligan uh so they've got size they've got road uh experience with winning uh, against uh, good competition and they have some scoring punch uh <clears throat> bogan as you said is is a, is a next level score um those guys are always a challenge he's going to do his but but they're not just a one-man band uh uh Lentz obviously is an elite level shooter rivers is a is a guy that's even though he's a freshman he's coming off of a career night uh scoring i think 19 20 in the last game so uh uh we got our we, we we're, it's gonna be a challenge for us but but we 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 need uh to show that we can defend uh, a team like this that has like a really really high powered shot maker uh but then can on the flip side deal with size with we, later on this week, when we get Clayton State, we'll be doing another opponent that, that has massive uh, players, at one through five. So we need the experience today. Uh, the the history of this one, playing a team from the VSAC, a team that historically Carson Newman has had a ton of success against, uh, 54 and 12 in the all-time series. Uh, historically, what does this mean as a little kid who grew up watching basketball against the Buffs here in, in Holt Fieldhouse. Well, it's always cool. I've told you before, like, um, growing up, I used to come to games here in the 70s and 80s and um, before the D2 era started in the uh, in the 90s for Carson Newman and w would watch CN play the Tennessee Westlands or the Belmonts or the Milligans and uh, and, and, and always enjoyed those, those games. So whenever I get a chance to coach against – those it's sort of a, a little bit of a walk down memory lane our guys don't know anything about any of this <laughs> you know they weren't even thought of at that point uh and so it's just something special for me uh, personally chuck pleasure as always good luck today against the buffs thanks cap it's carson newman headman's basketball coach chuck vinson starting lineup skis the game on the AEC countdown to tip off returns after these messages on the eagle sports network Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. 
AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. Don't go anywhere. Tip-off is next. Triff Davis, marvelous, with the hands on one end and the guile to finish on the other. More CN memories are headed your way on the Eagles Sports Network. Insurance, it's about people, not things. It's about security. It's about confidence. It's about relationships. It's about trust. It's about you. As a local independent agent, Bible Insurance Agency can design an insurance program that's just right for you and your family. Give the people you love safe, sound, secure protection from auto owners insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency, 423-586-4320. Or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From foot-long hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. This head of the key, straight on three, down the right. Is Carson Newman men's basketball on the Eagles Sports Network? Thomas drives the free throw line, stops, right hand, floater, got it, count it, and a foul. Bryant Thomas into the teeth of Jason Brooks. Today's game is brought to you by. Appalachian Electra Cooperative by Modern Woodman Financial Planning, Domino's, First Bank, by ShopCNEagles.com, The Eagle Club, The Bible Insurance Agency, by Pepsi, by Magaha Electric, Interdigital, by Food City, Trilight, and by Lisa's Country Kitchen. Now back to the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. Final strains of the National Anthem wrap up here inside of Holt Fieldhouse, and we are all set for hoops between Carson Newman and Milligan in the 65th all-time meeting between these two old VSAC rivals. Just the third time the teams have squared off since Carson Newman joined Division Two in the South Atlantic Conference. Starting fives look like this for Milligan under the direction of Bill Robinson. The Buffs trot out a two-guard, two-forward, one-center lineup featuring Lincoln Tommy and Finn McClure in the backcourt. Tommy, 6'3", sophomore out of Valparaiso, averaging 6.3 a game. McClure, six foot out of Wellington, New Zealand, averaging 7.7 .7 points per game. The forwards are Folly Bogan, the leading scorer who averages 25.4 a game in the AAC reigning player of the week. And Sam Gold, 6'7", out of Wellington, New Zealand. Man in the middle, Flynn Carlson, 6'7", junior out of Valparaiso, Indiana. 4.9 points and 5.6 rebounds per game for Carlson. Carson Newman's starting five is the same as it was on Saturday against Lander, Jack Crowder, Nick Brinnigan, John Zhao, and Usman Ja have started every game this season for Carson Newman coming into game five. While Trey Hubbard, fresh off a career high 21 points, makes his second consecutive start. Milligan out in the all blacks, black tops, black shorts. Orange numerals on the front and back of the jerseys, trimmed in white with an orange stripe up the sides for the Buffaloes. Pristine home whites for the Eagles. White tops, white shorts, blue numerals trimmed in orange on the front and back of the jerseys with Carson Newman written around the numerals on the front 
in blue, trimmed in orange. Jaw versus Carlson for the jump. And we are all set for hoops here in Holt. James Gibson set to throw it up. Eagles have won the tip in every game so far this season. Ball is in the air. Jaw deflects it in the backcourt where John Zhao collects. And the Eagles move left to right with it to open up this game. Man-to-man -man start for the, for the defense for the black clad Buffs. Crowder left wing goes to Jaw ahead of the key. Uzman flips it underhand. Hubbard right wing. Hubbard. Bounce inside jaw, gets by the help side defender and throws it down with a two-handed jam. Nice moves for Usman Jaw. He got Finn McClure go past him. Wide open look for the two-handed slam. Two-nothing Eagles, 30 seconds in. Buffs onto the offensive end. Goal. Out of the key for Finn McClure. Swing it to the right baseline. Goal. Goal body bumped on a drive. Fades and connects on a long 17-footer. That is waved off as the foul goes on Jack Crowder. His first and the first on the Eagles. Inbounds comes from McClure. Tipped into the backcourt by Trey Hubbard. Tries to track it down, can't do so. It's out of bounds in the backcourt. Second inbound opportunity for the Buffs. McClure will bring it across the timeline. And go against the Eagles' matchup zone. McClure zips it, Bogan at the free throw line. Two left-hand dribbles, spins in, kicks, head of the key, McClure, tracks it down, six to shoot. Back to Bogan, left point, hand in his face, fires a three, back iron, no. Long rebound, grabbed by Zhao. Races by Bogan, Zhao all the way to the hole, goes in for a right-hand finger roll. Long rebound to Zhao, he scoots boots and boogies for two the other way. Four-nothing Eagles, 18-47 to play first half. Milligan onto the offensive end. Left point, deep, 25 foot three. McClure it rattles out. Rebound punched out. Grabbed by Carlson. Second chance for the Buffs. Pull up Jay, right elbow. Tommy knocks it down from 17 feet. Milligan pops the seal. And it's 4 2. Eagles, 18 27 to play in the first half. Hubbard brings it front court. It's Zhao at the head of the key. He flashes for a deep triple and snaps the strings. John Zhao with five in a row for Carson Newman. That's the Eagles' lead. 7-2, 18-10 to play first half. Milligan onto the offensive end. Right corner, Tommy a triple. Back iron, no. Rebound slammed down by Gold, but scooped up by Brennigan. Brennigan then hits a trailing Zhao. Right wing, three, falling, short, front iron. Gold leaps to grab the rebound on the right baseline. Milligan moving right to left. Bogan spins around to the right elbow. Flips it out. Tommy head of the key around to the left wing for Gold. Gold back to Bogan, left wing. Bogan leaps, zips a pass, right corner, Tommy. Baseline drive, flips it back out, McClure with 11 to shoot. Eagles zone, trying to cover all corners. Left corner, Tommy, six to shoot, into the high post, touch it, left corner. Tommy, a three, Tommy knocks it down. Lincoln Tommy, just a 22% shooter on the year from range, but he got open for that one and knocked it down. Two point game, 7-5, Eagles leading. 17-17 to go first half. Eagles the other way. Hubbard all the way down the right side of the lane. Leans in and hits a right-hand runner off the window. Saw plenty of that from Trey Hubbard on his way to a career-high 21 on Saturday. Puts the Eagles ahead by four. 9-5 with 17-02 to play in the first half. Buffs bring it right to left. Bogan right wing. Muscles his way down the right baseline. Chucks up a 10-footer. Back iron no. Brennan in the rebound. And running, one on three, Brennigan all the way to the hole, stops, pushes it up with the right hand, and somehow got it to go. Looked accidental, but it counts for two regardless. 11-5, Eagles by six, 16-40 to play in the first half. Milligan head coach Bill Robinson saying that Nick Brennigan dragged his pivot foot. Buffs, head of the key, three, bending off the back iron, no good from Sam Gold. Brown of the rebound, and the Eagles on the move. Hubbard into the paint, driving, dishing. Brennigan, right corner, catch three, bullseye. Nick Brennigan buries the tray, and the Eagles lead 14 to five with 16.20 to play in the first half. Carson Newman, a little 7-0 burst, prompts a 30 from the Buffs. Transition it into a media. We'll step aside for a break. Eagles 14, Milligan five. Back after this on the Eagle Sports Network. 
Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. 14-5, Eagles leading Milligan, and they get a turnover. Carson Newman tips up a pass. Ben Beaker is steal right of the paint. Satterfield into the front court, hits Zhao running right baseline. Zhao takes off and throws it down with two hands. The Dragon unleashed, and the Eagles lead at 16-5 with 15.53 to go in the first half. Buffs trying to put a halt to this 9-0 Carson Newman run. Right elbow, Sam Goal gets it right corner. Tommy airballs the three, whistle, foul, going for the board. John Zhao gets held by Gold. It's his first, first on the Buffs. 15-42 to play first half, 16-5. Eagles leading by 11. It's a 9-0 burst for Carson Newman. In the last 90 seconds, Satterfield, Zhao, Dyer, Beaker, and Brennigan on the floor for Carson Newman. Zhao over to the right wing for Nick Brennigan. Brennigan drives to the left elbow, stops, bounces to Dyer, left wing. Double handoff for Satterfield, curling to the head of the key. Satterfield back to Dyer, slip it inside. Beaker bounces off his shoulder, loose ball picked up by Jazz Johnson. Johnson ranging front court, stops right elbow, chest pass over to the left wing for Finn McClure. McClure right around a Rivers screen. Back left around a Carlson screen. Takes it into the corner. Does McClure. Zips it head of the key for Johnson. Turn and pivot for McClure. Lob inside. Bunny at the bucket. Count it for Rivers and a foul. Charge the personal to Satterfield. His first team second. And McCaskill Rivers, an 88% free throw shooter. Off to the stripe to try to polish off the and one opportunity. Stops the Eagles 9-0 run. Carson Newman seven of eight from the field to start this game. And one free throw, front of the rim, no good. Beaker boxes out Carlson for the rebound in the middle of the lane. And the Eagles bring it left to right. Zhao, head of the key, enters into the paint, takes it in, drops it off, Beaker left block. Beaker throws it down with a two-handed flush. Back to an 11-point Eagle lead. 18 to seven with 14.40 to play in the first half. Carson Newman has started eight of nine from the field. Zhao blocks a three from the left corner from Grant Hensley out of bounds, and it stays with Milligan. Eagle fans, AEC is your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, service you can trust and value you can depend on. Powering Mossy Creek for AEC, member owned and service driven. Inbounds comes from Hensley, or pardon me, McClure, on the left baseline, triggers in, and Bryn Dyer just straight up stole it away on the left block. Dyer into the front court for Carson Newman with 11-point lead. Takes it down to the right block. Stumbled, but got shoved by McCaskill Rivers. Charlotte, North Carolina product, picks up his first and the team's second. 18-7, Eagles by 11. Bryce Wymanson enters, Nick Brennigan exits. And Dyer will inbound from the right baseline with an 11-point lead. Triggers into Wymanson, right wing. Wymanson cuts into the paint, bounce it inside. Zhao, left block, kick out Satterfield, left wing, open look, deep. Dead eye. Jarius Satterfield rains it down from distance. 21 to 7, Eagles by 14. 14 08 to go in the first half. 14 2, the run for Carson Newman over the last three minutes. Out of the key, Gold takes a three, halfway down and out. Beaker taps the rebound up and takes it away from Rivers over the sack logo. Carson Newman pushing front court. Dyer, left baseline, driving, dishing. Zhao, right wing, catch three, back iron, no, but he got fouled on the closeout by Jazz Johnson. 
online from John Zhao, just a little strong. John, Jazz Johnson, though, will send him to the line for three with his first and the team's third. 21 to seven, Carson Newman by 14, 13, 49 to play in the first half. Zhao bounces the ball once, twice, three times, flips up the first of three and calmly connects. Two more free throws for John Zhao. He's put the Eagles up by 15 for the first time tonight. Zhao. Dandy of a start for him as he connects on the second free throw. He's got nine points now and is responsible for the only miss on the day for Carson Newman. Third free throw. Good. Made all three. Lead is 17 for Carson Newman. Buffs bring it from right to left. Down by 17 off this 17-2 Carson Newman run. Wymanson a strip. Zhao a steal at the left elbow. Zhao in transition. Zips Wymanson right block. Extra pass Satterfield left corner. Back to Wymanson left wing. Wymanson inside he goes. Pops from the free throw line. Lances off to the right iron, no good. And that stops a string of six straight makes for Carson Newman. Buffs the rebound, raging front court. McClure, right wing, Wymanson sags off of him at the top of the zone. McClure skips it left wing, Jazz Johnson a triple. He rattles that one in. Second made three of the season for Jazz Johnson. Stops Carson Newman's 17-2 run on the two and a half minute Milligan scoring drought. 24-10, Eagles by 14. 12.50 to play first half. Carson Newman brings it front court. Dyer driving, dishing, right corner, Wymanson into the paint he goes, kicks Zhao out of the key. Zhao moves inside, flips it, Wymanson, right wing, three, online but short. Beaker tapped the rebound. Did he shove off his defender or did he get shoved? He got shoved. Sam Gold has been whistled for his second personal and the team's fourth, so the ball stays with Carson Newman. And McClure and Grant Hensley exit. Inbounds comes to Zhao, left block. He has the easy lay-in with the right hand. 12 first-half points for John Zhao on four of five shooting. 26 to 10, Eagles by 16, 12, 24 to play in the first half. Milligan on to the offensive end, moving right to left. Right elbow, pull up Jay, Jazz Johnson missed from 15. Bryn Dyer collapses to the right block for the rebound. Zips it up the right sideline to Satterfield. Gets underneath the basket. Curls, hits Zhao, cutting into the paint. Through his hands and stolen away by Johnson. All the way ahead for an easy layup for Lincoln Thomas. Or Tom, Lincoln Tommy, pardon me. And then he gets fouled for an and one opportunity. Count the basket. And the foul charged to Jarius Satterfield. It's his second and the team's third. Tommy to the line for the and one free throw. Tommy bounces the ball twice. 86% shooter puts it up, swirls it out left side. Beaker the board. And the Eagles move left to right with a 14 point lead in hand. 11.55 to go in the first half. Zhao over to Dyer, left wing. Dyer drives baseline, takes it to the cup, went for the two handed jam, but left it long. Rebound punches out, buffs the other way. Bogan finishes in tr transition through contact with Satterfield off the right side. Milligan cuts it to 12. 26-14 with 11.33 to play in the first half. Carson Newman with it front court. Wymanson over to Beaker at the head of the key. Beaker, high-low lob, Zhao, catches right block, kicks Dyer right corner, extra pass, Wymanson right point, three off the mark. Dyer goes up, can't get the tip to fall. Beaker has the rebound, knocked out of his hands, out of bounds, stays with Carson Newman. 11.15 to go in the first half. Carson Newman 26, Milligan 14. Eagles shooting 63% from the field in the opening half. You're on the Eagles Sports Network. I get my power from my co-op so I can put my energy into my family. Into waking up the neighborhood. Latte for Christine. I get my power from the co-op so I can put my energy into planting seeds for a brighter future. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives power to your community for your community so your energy can go into the things that matter most to you. My 69 Camaro. 
local powers you. AEC, the right call for your energy needs. Let us help you score success. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. 11-15 to go in the first half. Carson Newman leads Milligan 26-14. Eagles offense firing on all cylinders, shooting 63% from the field. And rebounding the ball well as well. 13 boards to five for the Buffs. Carson Newman ball out of the break. The dire triggering from the left baseline. Floats it into Hubbard left wing. Milligan has... Gone to a 2-3 zone. Dyer head of the key, flips it, Brennigan, left corner. Pump fakes the three, back up top, Dyer. Skip it right corner, Jack Browder, open look from three, left it short, right iron, rebound pings it into the right corner where Jazz Johnson scoops it up. Johnson into the front court, team down by 12. Johnson stops left elbow, pivots, passes, Browder intercepts it, inbound for the left corner. Gets it up the left sideline to Ren Dyer. Into the left corner, Nick Brennigan, catch three, bang, bang! Nick Brennigan, silky smooth in transition. Off the feed from Dyer. Eighth assist on the Eagles' 11th made basket. 29-14, Eagles by 15. 10.33 to go in the first half. Milligan with it, front court. Jazz Johnson at the head of the key. Swings it right wing for Tommy. Over left wing, Rivers. Rivers drops it off, Bogan left wing. Nine to shoot. Bogan to the free throw line. Flip it out, Rivers left wing at three. Back iron, no. Dyer skies to pull in the rebound. Dyer, a bounce feet ahead for Browder. Browder to the cup, right hand leaner, won't drop, but he's fouled. Send Jack Browder to the stripe after the second personal on McCaskill Rivers and the fifth team foul on the Buffs. Eagle fans, Domino's is the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles, so when you're hungry, reach for Domino's. Get a large one topping pie for $5.99 with your Carson Newman ID. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. First free throw for Jack Browder singes the net. His first point. And it's back to a 16-point Carson Newman lead. 30-14 to 14 with 10-12 to go in the first half. One more free throw for Jack Browder and a chance to match Carson Newman's biggest lead of the day. Browder lines it up and knocks that one down as well. 31-14, Eagles by 17 with 10-10 to play in the first half. A 17-2 run for the Eagles. Open this one up. They've maintained that lead. Buffs out of the NAIA with it front court. Rivers, left elbow, squares up, shoots over top of Jaw, missed it long off the heel, and Usman has the board at the free throw line for the Eagles. Carson Newman front court. Hubbard, head of the key. Chest pass right wing for Browder, drop it off Jaw right block. Skip it, Brennigan, left point, catch three, Drano. Back-to-back Brennigan bangers from range. He's got 11 first half points, and the lead swells to 20 for the first time tonight. Off of this 8-0 Carson Newman run. 34-14 Eagles with 9.27 to play in the first half. Buffs front court. Right corner McClure. Goes inside Bogan right baseline. Bogan lays it up, lays it in, count it, and a foul. Strong take for the reigning AAC player of the week. And put a first personal on Usman Ja. And a fourth team foul on Carson Newman. That stops the Eagles 8-0 run. And a two-minute Milligan scoring drought. 34-16, Eagles by 18. Bogan, 71% at the line this season. Heads to the stripe for an and one freebie. Flips it up with the right hand, rattles out, no good. Dyer works to the right, blocked for the board for Carson Newman. Eagles bring it from left to right. Hubbard, over to Browder, right point. Feed it, Brennigan, right wing. Bounce it inside for Browder right block. Skip it, Hubbard left wing. Hubbard enters into the paint, kicks Brennigan right corner. Another catch three. Left iron no. Jaw came over the top of Flynn Carlson and he gets called for the foul. 
Second personal on Usman Ja, 15 foul on the Eagles, and that brings Ben Beaker off the bench to replace Usman Ja. Eagle fans, Lisa's Country Kitchen serves the best home-cooked meals that the Lakeway region has to offer. Lisa's Country Kitchen, the official restaurant of the Carson Newman Eagles. Buffs working right to left with the basketball. Clad in black jerseys with orange numerals trimmed in white. McCaskill Rivers, head of the key, flips it to Bogan right wing. Hubbard comes all the way out to guard him. Bogan drives on him, stops right block, kick left wing for Hensley. Hensley works it between the rings with eight to shoot. Hensley, right hand handles to the free throw line, gets to the cup, can't hit the leaner, got his own board off the punch though. Hensley fires inside for McCaskill Rivers, can't hit the layup, but he got held by, at the last second by Trey Hubbard. So Hubbard will make him earn it at the stripe. First on Hubbard, sixth on the Eagles. 8.25 to play first half, 34-16. Carson Newman leading Milligan. Eagles have shot 60% from the field in the opening half. And a plus seven on the glass. First free throw for McCaskill Rivers. In and out, off the glass, in and out, and over the front lip of the rim, no good. One more free throw for McCaskill Rivers. With Sam Gold set to check in. Rivers spins the ball into his left hand twice, bends his knees, one bounce. Free throw on the way, and that one strokes the strings. And Gold will check in for the shooter, Rivers. 34-17, Eagles doubling up the buffs, led by as many as 20 here in the opening half. And this resumption of an old VSAC matchup in AI buffs against NCAA Eagles. Carson Newman front court, Dyer at the free throw line. Leaps and feeds. Browder on the left block, takes it up, gets fouled from behind by Sam Gold. Gold got the ball clean, but he landed kicking Browder with the body. And Gold has been whistled for three fouls here in the first half. Sixth team foul on Milligan. And that brings Jay Richmond off the bench set to check in. Two free throws for Jack Browder. Browder. Couple dribbles, first free throw on the way. Missed it short. Modern Woodman Financial Planning. Touching lives and securing futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your fi family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact Carson Newman Men's Basketball alum Taylor Hawkins at cneagles.com slash modernwoodman to help secure your family's financial future. Crowder goes one for two and makes the second free throw. It's a 35-17 lead for the Eagles. Up by 18 with eight minutes on the button to play in the first half. Right wing, Richmond tries a triple for the Buffs, missed it off to the right, long rebound into the right corner, grabbed by Nick Brennigan, gets it into Trey Hubbard's hands, and he weaves front court. Hubbard accelerating into the paint, takes it up with the right hand, got nothing but backboard. Beaker an offensive rebound, second chance for the Eagles. Beaker flips it out, Nick Brennigan left wing. Drives inside on McClure, zips the pass right corner, Browder, catch three, bottom! Jack Browder, his first make from deep. He's got six. And Carson Newman has its biggest lead of the night. 38-17 with 7.27 to play in the first half. Milligan on to the offensive end. Folly Bogan, left wing, scrubs around the screen, tries the three, missed it long off the heel. Hubbard the rebound at the free throw line. Zips it ahead, Dyer. Dyer to the rim, attacks, and thunders it down with a right hand flush. Student section says, hey, that's on Folly Bogan's head. 40-17, Eagles by 23. 7.02 to play first half. 6.0 burst for Carson Newman. Milligan on to the offensive end. Dyer takes it away from Richmond. One on two. Dyer feeds Browder. Racing to the rim. He walked. Nearly spectacular in transition. Still a nice finish for Jack. Just didn't get the NBA continuation. 6.50 to play in the first half. Carson Newman cruising. 40-17 to 17 over the buffs. Eagles in the middle of a 6-0 run. Back to hold after this on the Eagle Sports Network. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs, since 1931. 
At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser focused on your success. Eagles have led wire to wire in this one. A 17-2 run. Creating separation for Carson Newman against Milligan. In the 65th all-time meeting between these two teams. Just the third in the last 35 years between the Eagles and Buffaloes. Milligan has the ball out of the break, trying to put a halt to a 6-0 Carson Newman run. Right side of the lane. Bounce feed inside for cutting Finn McClure. He finishes with the right hand up at the cup. Nice bounce feed from Flynn Carlson to stop the 6-0 Eagle run and make this a 21-point game. 40-19, Carson Newman, 6.25 to play first half. Eagles with it front court. Tyler Bowen's at the head of the key into the game for the first time. Gets it to Nick Brennigan right wing. Brennigan back to Wymanson right corner. Feed it Bowen's right block. Backs down Bogan. Spins right. Right hand hook. Front iron, no. Rebound snared by McClure. Gets it to Bogan, who brings it front court. Bogan. Shovels off McClure around to Mc Bogan right wing. Bogan drives inside, gets underneath, zings it out to Hinsley left wing. Back up top, McClure. NBA range three, spins out left side. Bowen's the board for Carson Newman. Ahead to Browder. Eagles, Eagles have numbers, but a pass is tipped up by McClure and stolen away in the right corner. Milligan avoids the transition issues. Down by 21, Buffs pull up right baseline. Jumper rims out for Hinsley. Wymanson skies for the board left block for the Eagles. Carson Newman in all white moving left to right. Zhao head of the key. Pumps the three. Drives with the right. Finishes with the scoop off the glass. Counted in a foul. John Zhao got him with the shake and bake. And he puts a first personal on Flynn Carlson. Seventh team foul on the buffs. Zhao with 14 first half points to the line to try to finish off this and one opportunity. 14 points in 10 minutes on the floor for John Zhao. Not too shabby. And he calmly cans the free throw. 15 points for Zhao to lead all scores. Carson Newman's up by 24 for the first time tonight. 43-19 with 5.25 to play in the first half. Matchup zone for the Eagles defensively. Milligan goes for round one. Carlson spinning right side of the lane. Chucks it up from eight feet out and gets it on a beeline through the bottom of the barrel. 43 to 21, Eagles by 22. Carlson with his first points off his first shot attempt. 5.04 to play first half. Eagles with it front court. Zhao, right wing, gets it into the right corner for Brennigan. Up top, Bowens, back to Brennigan right wing. Bounce inside, Zhao, stolen away by Hensley. Hensley off to the races. Lost the handle on it, saves it in, but to Tyler Bowens. Bowens. Weaves front court. Goes to Wymanson in the left corner. Wymanson backs it out. Right hand dribbles. Picked up by McClure. Wymanson drives by him. Gets the cup. Left hand leaner. Got it off the glass. Strong take for Bryce Wymanson. Buffs the other way. Bogan finishes in transition with the right hand. Back to a 22-point game. And Chuck Benson has seen enough. He will burn a timeout. 4.28 to play in the first half. It's Carson Newman, 45, and Milligan, 23. We return to Holt Fieldhouse after these messages on the Eagle Sports Network. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. We love to cheer for our home teams, like the Eagles. It means more when we're rooting for the people we know. Did you know Trilight is your home team internet provider? We're right here in Jefferson City, serving the people we know with our ultra-fast, ultra-reliable fiber broadband network. And we'd love to serve you. Learn more at trilight.net or by calling 
833-847-0824. Go Eagles! 4.28 to go in the first half. Carson Newman carrying a 45-23 lead over Milligan. Eagles broke things open with a 17-2 run. Have largely kept the foot on the accelerator in this one, shooting 62% from the field here in the opening half. Jack Browder, Trey Hubbard, John Zhao, Ben Beaker, and Bryce Wymanson on the floor for Carson Newman. Milligan counters Hensley McClure, Carlson, Bogan, and Rivers. A little 1-3-1 it looks like for Milligan. Eagles go to the corner for Zhao around the Hubbard left wing. Back to Zhao into the corner. It's deflected out of bounds by Hensley. And stays with Carson Newman with 15 to shoot. Milligan has mixed and matched defenses at times today. He stays zoned for this possession. Wymanson, right corner, baseline drive, gets the cup, right hand finger roll, falls off the back iron and into the hands of Carlson. Pass flung up the right sideline. Trey Hubbard tips it out of bounds, can't corral it. And it stays with Milligan with 4.02 to play in the first half. And the Eagles leading 45-23. McClure, left hand dribbles over to the left wing. Eagles stretch out their matchup zone. McClure, right wing for Hensley. Hensley, 13 to shoot, lobs to the high post, Rivers. Rivers, one dribble, shoots over top of Browder, can't get to the fall, rebound punched around, grabbed by Carlson, second chance. Rivers, right corner three, back of the 10, no good. Hubbard up with the rebound for the Eagles. Lobs ahead, Ben Beaker. Beaker tracks it down. Bounce feed, Zhao cutting to the cup, missed it with the left hand, got his own board. Zhao turns, right hand hook, no. Beaker, third chance, won't drop. Loose ball, batted out of bounds by Jack Browder. Back to Milligan. Couple good looks at the 10 for Carson Newman. Just couldn't get it to drop. Buffs bring it right to left, trailing by 22. Eagles have led by as many as 24 in this one. Carlson, head of the key, zips it left corner. Hensley, he tries a triple, left it short. Zhao, long rebound left baseline. Gets it ahead to Trey Hubbard for Carson Newman. Hubbard to the head of the key. Start and stop move. Flips it right hand to Zhao right wing. Over to Wymanson in the corner. Wymanson motions with his left hand to set a screen, doesn't take it. Instead of bounce to Beaker in the keyhole. Beaker, one dribble, cutting Hubbard to the cup. Hubbard lays it in with the right hand from the right side. Trey Hubbard pushes Carson Newman back ahead by 24 and snaps an 0 for 4 string from the floor for the Eagles. 47-23, Carson Newman, 2.37 to play. First half, loose ball, Hubbard a steal away from Bogan. Hubbard to the cup, right hand, won't fall. Wymanson taps the rebound out of bounds off of McClure and it stays with Carson Newman with 2.30 to play in the first half, leading by 24. Eagle fans, check out Carson Newman Athletics' official online store at shopcneagles.com. It features more than 1,100 products from T-shirts and polos to phone skins and pet collars. Shopcneagles.com, the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. Inbounds comes to Hubbard left wing. Into the high post for Beaker. Beaker, hands off for Zhao, curling to the cup. Backs out, head of the key, fading three, rattling home. 18 for John Zhao in the first half. Carson Newman surges ahead by 27. 50 to 23 with 210 to play in the opening stanza. Milligan hasn't scored in two minutes. Trying to snap that string here. Bogan, left wing against Zhao at the top of the zone. Bogan moves right to the free throw line. Zips it right corner. Johnson a triple. Back iron no. Beaker takes the rebound away from Rivers. Outlets it to Hubbard. Hubbard on the break. Lob Zhao. Zhao goes up looking for the alley oop jam, but he got undercut by Bogan, who picks it up as if to say. And that's on me. And Zhao will head to the line after Folly Bogan's first personal and the team's eighth. Well, if John Zhao puts that one down, the roof caves in. Now, that was going to be real high-level difficulty. And John Zhao with his 18 first-half points heads to the line for two. And a chance to extend this 27-point first-half lead for the Eagles. Zhao's first rattles in. One more free throw for John Zhao. 19 first half points for John Zhao. 
Spins the ball into his left hand. Two more right hand dribbles. Flips up the second. Missed it off to the right. 51 to 23. Eagles by 28 with 102 seconds left in the first half. Buffs with it front court. Tommy for a cutting Carlson. Punched away. Back out to the right wing. Reset. Drive. Dish. Johnson. Drop it off Rivers. Left block. Finishes through count. Contact. Counted off the glass plus a foul. Charged the personal to Ben Beaker, his first and the team's seventh. And Rivers to the line where he's 0 for 1 on the day. Milligan struggling as a team, 1 for 5 for a team coming in, shooting 78% at the stripe. Milligan, and Rivers, and one free throw is through, nothing but net. That's down to a... 25-point game, 51-26. Eagles the other way, Zhao left wing, catch three, splash. John Zhao with 22 first half points. 54-26, Eagles with their biggest lead of the day at 28. Milligan the other way, nice drive for Folly Bogan. He flips it in at the 10. Bogan averaging 25 a night. He's got eight as Hubbard goes the other way. Off balance leaner from the left baseline. He's fouled by Jazz Johnson, his second. Team's ninth. And Hubbard ruled to have not been in the act of shooting. He'll get one and one. 54-28, Carson Newman leading Milligan. 60 seconds left in the first half. Hubbard's run into the one and one. Hits the front iron, bounces into the air, and falls through the strings. Hubbard's found himself more in the role of distributor today. Four points, four assists in the first half. Second free throw rattles out left side. Carlson collects. And the Buffs bring it right to left. Down 55 to 28. Carlson sends it inside to Tommy. Turns at the free throw line. Chest pass, right corner. Rivers a catch three. Back iron, no. Rebound punched over to Carlson left lock. Feeds the cutting Rivers to the cup. Rivers lays it in. McCaskill Rivers with eight points. 55 to 30. Eagles by 25. 30 seconds left. There's a five-second difference. Shot clock to game clock. What will likely be the Eagles' final possession of the opening half. Browder goes to work inside. Lost the handle on it going up. Got it back. And has a wide-open look at the rim as a result as Rivers and Tommy flew past him. Browder dumps it in, 57 to 30. Eagles by 27, seven seconds left in the first half. Final possession for the Buffs. Bogan, right wing, tried to step back. Wymanson steals it, half court heave on the way. Wymanson, bullseye at the buzzer. Bryce Wymanson, the steal and the stinger from the half court stripe. Well, that's one way to close the period. 60 to 30, Eagles doubling up the buffs at the end of one. ChopSeeandEagles.com halftime report. Heads your way when we come back after this on the Eagle Sports Network. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser-focused on your success. Looking to make your home more comfortable and affordable? Maybe a new electric heat pump or a new attic insulation? And don't forget new doors and windows. AEC is here to help. We've got a quality contractor network, easy financing, and ANC inspects every job to assure the highest quality satisfaction. Visit our website at aecoop.org for application, contractor list, and more details. AEC, we're power with purpose. It's halftime. We'll head back to the arena for the ShopCNEagles.com halftime report in just 60 seconds on the Eagle Sports Network. 
Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. The number one source for Carson Newman Athletics gear is ShopSeeingEagles.com, where you can find gear from Adidas, Columbia, Nike, and Under Armour. Shirts, jerseys, sweatshirts, shorts, pants, hats, and scarves. ShopSeeingEagles.com is your source for everything CN. You can even show your school spirit on your smartphone or tablet. All of your game day essentials can be found in one place. ShopSeeingEagles.com. It's halftime. Your first half scoring summary and a check of the shopcneagles.com sack scoreboard are headed your way. Corner, Chow, catch three. Nylon for Chow. Eagles lead. Now back to the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. All right, halftime in Holt where Carson Newman carries a 60 to 30 lead over the Milligan Buffs. Carson Newman made a half court heave at the horn from Bryce Wymanson, and that is indicative of the Eagles' day in this one. Carson Newman shoots 58% from the field. Eagles can nine of 14 threes and hand out 15 assists on 21 at made baskets. Carson Newman playing well offensively. It is a well-oiled machine led by John Zhao, who has 22 first-half points, 7 of 10 from the field, and 3 of 4 from beyond the arc. Mick Brennigan has complimented him with 11, and Jack Browder has chipped in 8. Trey Hubbard, a night after a career-high 21, has 5 points, but he leads Carson Newman with 4 assists. Eagles are plus 9 on the glass. They've only turned it over five times. Carson Newman's got a 13-6 advantage in points off turnovers, a 15-4 advantage in fast break points. Uh, name something, and it favors Carson Newman in this contest. Folly Bogan, the reigning AAC Player of the Week, came in averaging 25 a night. He has eight at the break to pace Milligan. Lincoln Tommy follows him with seven. Buffs are just two of 16 from beyond the arc for a team coming in averaging 32% from three with 6.5 made threes per game. So it all adds up pretty heavily in Carson Newman's favor in this contest. When we come back on the... ShopCNEagles.com halftime report. There's a little bit of action around the South Atlantic Conference, both on the men's and women's side here on this Monday night. And we'll tell you about that when we come back after these messages on the Eagle Sports Network. If you're looking for official Eagle merchandise, look no further than the Carson Newman Bookstore. With a large selection of Carson Newman gifts and apparel, you're sure to find something to please the entire family. From stuffed eagles to towel sets, sweatshirts, shorts, hats, and slippers, we literally have you covered from head to toe. We have just the item you're looking for no matter what the season. So whether you're an Eagle student, parent, alumni, or fan, shop us for everything orange and blue. Call 865-471-3539 for more information and store hours. We'll see you at the Carson Newman Bookstore. This is Carson Newman men's basketball alum Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash Modern Woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. 
A check of the ShopCNEagles.com SAC scoreboard is next. This is the Eagle Sports Network. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City and Morristown wants to help feed your business. When you're hungry at lunch, show your business card at Domino's in Jefferson City and Morristown when you make your purchase for pickup or delivery to get 25% off the entire order. That's 25% off your order at Domino's in Jeff City and Morristown when you show your business card. Call 865-471-6700 to get a pizza. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. The Eagles Sports Network is part of SAC Live, the official digital network of the South Atlantic Conference. SAC Live is the home of all your South Atlantic Conference sports action, including 20 SAC championships. Time to get caught up with some SAC action. Here are the happenings around the South Atlantic Conference and the nation. Let's go around the league with a ShopCandEagles.com scoreboard update. Now back to the arena. Back courtside in Holt Fieldhouse, Adam Cavalier, happy to have you on hand. Jay Adams running the show back inside of Network Control. First time since December 19th, 2022, that the Eagles have scored 60 points and a half. It just so happened that the last time they did that was against another one of their old BSAC foes, Tennessee Wesleyan. The Eagles put up 64 in the first half of that one. They lead Milligan 60 to 30 here at the half in Holt Fieldhouse. Well, a little bit of action going around in the South Atlantic Conference. Five women's games were played earlier today. They have all gone final. Emory and Henry went over to Charleston, West Virginia to take on the University of Charleston and the Golden Eagles prevailed by 23 over the Wasps. 86 to 63. UC shot 47% from the field and forced 23 Emory and Henry turnovers. You see outscore the Wasps 31 to six in points off turnovers and there's your dis- difference right there. You see took 13 more shots than Emory and Henry. Bluefield State goes on the road and scores a 60 to 55 win over UVA Wise. Island Cavaliers had the halftime lead, but the Big Blue outscored UVA Wise 19 to 13 in the third quarter to flip the script, and then buried four free throws, five free throws, pardon me, in the final minute to seal that win. UVA Wise did not lead after losing the lead. Uh, in the third quarter with a 7-2 Bluefield State run. Probably the marquee game of the in the league today featured Catawba's women who are top five in both the media and coaches poll going to North Georgia. But it is the Nighthawks who prevail 72-57. Big reason why, free throw shooting. North Georgia got to the line 29 times, made 23 of them. Catawba just seven for eight at the charity strike. Lyric Thorne led the Indians with 16 points, while North Georgia's Emily Trushel led all scores with 21 on seven of 15 shooting. There's one other men's game in action, and it's at Dunk Mountain. Banner Elk, North Carolina, and Williams Gymnasium. Lees McCray has a 40 to 36 halftime lead over Tusculum. The Pioneers shooting 54% from the field, but turned it over 11 times in the first half. And Lees McCray a 16 to 7 edge in points off turnovers to make up for the fact that they're only shooting 44% from the field. 
Leaves McCray after losing by 24 to Carson Newman in the opener. Has caught fire and won three in a row looking for a fourth straight win. And squaring off with the Pioneers in Banner Elk. Here at Holt Fieldhouse, Carson Newman up by 30 at the halftime break on Milligan. 60 to 30. Eagles doubling up their old VSAC foes. Second half action. Heads your way when we come back after this on the Eagle Sports Network. How do you show your support for Carson Newman? Head over to shopseeneagles.com right now where they have all of your needs covered. From clothing to outfitting your tailgate party, whether you're hunting, fishing, or on the golf course, shopseeneagles.com is the place for you. All of your everyday essentials from pens to phone chargers are in one place. For the best gear in the business, visit shopseeneagles.com today. Insurance, it's about people, not things. It's about security. It's about confidence. It's about relationships. It's about trust. It's about you. As a local independent agent, Bible Insurance Agency can design an insurance program that's just right for you and your family. Give the people you love safe, sound, secure protection from auto owners insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency, 423-586-4320. Or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. This is Carson Newman Basketball. Bill's top of the key. Pull up three. On the way. Got it. Charlie Clark dialing long distance with impunity. On the Eagles Sports Network. Trilight is proud to support Carson Newman Athletics. We salute the student athletes who are working hard to make great things happen on the field, in the classroom, and in the world. It takes vision, commitment, and teamwork, qualities we share at Trilight. Our mission is to provide life-changing opportunities by building a world-class fiber broadband network. If you'd like to learn more, please visit trilight.net or call us at 833-847-0824. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. Halftime coming to a close here in Holt Fieldhouse. A 60-30 lead for Carson Newman over Milligan. Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID here on the Eagle Sports Network. Adam Cavalier, happy to have you courtside here at Holt Fieldhouse. Jay Adams running the show back inside of Network Control. Our director tonight is Mia Toribio, replay operator Ian Johnson. Our fantastic camera crew, Elena Corbett, Molly Buckowitz, Itzy Ayala, and Hunter Williams, and a lot of other people who make this show run, people like our stats caller, Mary Vandergriff, our shot clock operator, Addie Lowe, bookkeeper, Cami Mincy, and, of course, our official statistician, Caitlin Jones. Glad to have all of them helping out here for tonight's game. We don't have officials back up here yet. Clock is at zeros. But the officiating crew has not made their way back up stairs from halftime. Gives us a chance to remind you that Magaha Electric has been serving East Tennessee for 40 years. Magaha Electric is your perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, they are your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. Still no sign of the officiating crew for tonight's game. Carson Newman shot 58% from the field in the first half. And officials have made their way back upstairs. It will be Milligan Ball to start this second half. 
Molly Bogan inbounds to Finn McClure. And the Buffs in all black move left to right with the ball. Backdoor cut, bobbled by Tommy, stolen away by Trey Hubbard. Hubbard on the move, into the paint, kicking Brennigan, left corner, pumps, drives, dishes, Browder, head of the key, catch three, left iron, no. Jaw collides with his teammate, lost the rebound to Sam Gold. Buffs on the break, left wing for McClure, driving inside, drop it off for Gold, bounce it left corner for Tommy. Back out, Gold left wing, his three barely grazes iron. John Zhao collects his fourth rebound, gets it into Trey Hubbard's hands, and the Eagles in all white bring it right to left. Hubbard moves inside, dishes Zhao, right wing, catch and shoot three, rainbows home. 25 for John Zhao. He's eight for 11 from deep, and Milligan turns it over, going the other way. 10th Milligan turnover, 63 to 30. It's an 8-0 run for the Eagles spanning the halftime break. Carson Newman's had runs of 17-2, 8-0, 6-0, 6-0, and 8-0. Hubbard on the right block. Drops it off Zhao, fading from 10. Zhao, buttery smooth with the bucket from 10. 10-0 run, spanning the halftime break. John Zhao puts the Eagles up 65-30. to He has 27, one off his career high. Milligan with it front court. Out of the key for McClure. Left hand dribbles, McClure accelerates, dishes inside, batted away by Jaw, stolen away by Nick Brennigan. Brennigan pull up, right wing, catch three, yes! Nick Brennigan off the bounce, makes it a 13-0 Carson Newman run, spanning the halftime break. And the Eagles up 38, 68 to 30 with 18-20 to play in the second half. Milligan the other way, Tommy's free throw line, Jay won't go down, offensive board by Gold. Leans in, can't hit the runner. Zhao the board, left baseline. Gets it to Hubbard. Hubbard in transition. Hits Brennigan left wing, extra pass. Browder, left corner, catch three, bang, bang. Jack Browder swells the edge to 41. Carson Newman on a tear out of the halftime break. 71 to 30, a 16-0 run, spanning the half. Gold in the right corner. Pumped when airborne, walks to the basketball. Fourth Milligan turnover of the second half. Interdigital strives to be a leading provider of cutting edge digital and marketing solutions. Visit interdigital.com for IT support, web development, internet marketing, and film production services. Interdigital, they are laser focused on your success. Carson Newman, a 16 0 run spanning the halftime break. Jal takes off down the right side of the lane, leaps, passes, but turns it over. Pass found, Jazz Johnson. Johnson into the front court. Passes to Bogan, left wing, pump fakes a three, enters into the paint, kicks out, head of the key, Johnson, right elbow jumper, in and out, no good from 15. Hover the rebound, right block, and racing front court. Gets it to Brennigan, left corner, hunts a transition three ball. Right iron, no. Long rebound, checked down by Bogan, right baseline. Bogan brings it front court. It's a cutting Rivers to the cup. Rivers, right hand, can't finish. Rebound punched up. Jaw had it in his hands, lost it out of bounds, and it stays with Milligan. 71 to 30, Eagles by 41. Inbounds comes right baseline. Bogan's 15-footer off the mark. Browder the rebound, outlets it ahead to Hubbard. Hubbard racing to the cup. Finishes in transition with the right hand off the glass. Count it. And a foul. Lincoln Tommy with the harm. Hubbard with the hoop. Tommy's first, first on the buffs. 73 to 30. The run is 18-0, spanning the half. Hubbard. And one free throw, got the roll. 74 to 30. Eagles by 44 over Milligan. Milligan with it front court. Rivers bounce feed inside. The kick out, left wing, three. That's in from Lincoln Tommy. Tommy stops Carson Newman's 18-0 run spanning the halftime break. That makes it a 41-point game. 74-33 with 16-30 to play in the second half. Carson Newman with it front court. Hubbard, nice feed. Zhao cutting to the basket right side of the lane. Zhao finishes with the right hand. He's got a new career high with 29. Buffs the other way, trailing by 33. 
swooping in goes Carlson for a right hand leaner from the right side and it finds the bottom of the barrel 76 35 Eagles by 31 Carson went on to the offensive end John takes it in going up middle of the lane but he's fouled from behind Uzman Ja will head to the line after the personal on Jazz Johnson is third and the team's second Uzman Ja 76-35 lead in hand for Carson Newman. Bends the knees, flips the first free throw up, and it rattles out right side, no good. Carson Newman 75% from the field after halftime and three of five from beyond the arc. One more free throw for Usman Ja. Bends his knees, flips the free throw up. This one is a string stroker. 77-35, Eagles by 42. Milligan front court. Hubbard a near steal, but it's scooped up by Carlson. Gets it around a Bogan right way. Bogan, crossover move, gets the bucket, kick out, left corner, three, short front of the rim from Tommy. Brow to the rebound, outletting the head to Zhao. Zhao racing to the cup. Two-hand flush. Brow to the full court feed. Zhao with springs. Puts it home. 79-35. Eagles by 44. Buffs onto the offensive end, right corner. Rivers at three, rattling out left side. Zhao tips the rebound up. Whistle, foul on the loose ball battle on John Zhao. First career 30-point game for John Zhao. He finally makes a mistake, his first personal foul. First foul on the Eagles of the second half. Carson Newman has its biggest lead of the game, 79-35. to with 15.28 to play in the second half. And we return to Holt Fieldhouse following these messages on the Eagle Sports Network. How do you show your support for Carson Newman? Head over to shopseeneagles.com right now where they have all of your needs covered. From clothing to outfitting your tailgate party, whether you're hunting, fishing, or on the golf course, shopseeneagles.com is the place for you. All of your everyday essentials, from pens to phone chargers, are in one place. For the best gear in the business, visit shopseeneagles.com today. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. 15-28 to go, second half. Carson Newman by 44 over Million. Buffalo basketball out of the break. Rivers, head of the key, switches it to Bogan. Right point, Bogan moves inside, steps, and throws a pass that John Zhao steals. Zhao all the way to the hole, scoops it up with the right hand, but misses it short. And Tommy gets the rebound. It's a rare mistake by John Zhao with a career high 31 tonight. As the Buffs bring it front court, Tommy steps out of bounds on the, the right baseline. Ball back to Carson Newman after Milligan's sixth turnover of the second half and the Buffs' 14th of the game. 15 04 to play, second half. 79 35 Eagles leading. Trilight is your home team internet provider, taking care of Jefferson City with ultra fast, ultra reliable fiber broad- broadband. Let them serve you. Visit trilight.net. Carson Newman ball. Beaker, Satterfield, Wymanson, Zhao, and Dyer on the floor. Beaker hands off to Wymanson at the head of the key. Chest pass, Zhao left way. Over to Satterfield, left corner. Satterfield curling, head of the key. Down the right side of the paint, kicks Wymanson right wing. Wymanson gets to the left block, scoops it up with the left hand, falls off right side. Touched out of bounds by Tommy of Milligan, and it stays with Carson Newman. First Bank is the official bank of Carson Newman Athletics and the only place you can get a Carson Newman Eagles debit card. Stop by any First Bank location to get your Carson Newman debit card and show your Eagles pride. Inbounds comes to Wymanson, head of the key. Wymanson, the left wing, stumbles, kicks left corner, Satterfield three, airballed. McCaskill Rivers, the rebound 
Right block for a little slick. Tyler needs over with his mop. Milligan looking for an answer. Right corner. Bogan drains the three. 79-38. Eagles by 41 with 14-15 to go in the second half. Garcia with it front court. Zhao, right point. Bounce it to Beaker at the free throw line. Beaker drives inside on Richmond. Spins left hand leaner. Got it off the window. Acrobatic moves from Ben Beaker. Pirouetting to give the Eagles a 43 point lead. Buffs the other way. Left elbow Jay. Hangs on the heel for Jazz Johnson and he gets the charity roll. 81 40. Eagles by 41. 13 45 to go in the second half. Carson Newman an 18 0 run spanning the halftime break to knock the barn doors off this one. Weinmanson. Right wing with the rock for the Eagles. Right around the Zhao screen. Takes it right corner into the paint. Goes Weinmanson. Backs it out left point and finds Zhao. Zhao, chest pass, Dyer right wing. Dyer, seven on the shot clock. Accelerates the hole. Left hand, can't finish, but he's fouled. Free throws for Rin Dyer. Charge the foul to Jay Richmond, his first, team's third. So two free throws for Rin Dyer. Righty knocks down the first. He's got three points. Zhao exits with a career high 31. Jack Browder enters. Glenn Carlson is back in for the Buffs, replacing Folly Bogan. Been a pretty good run for Folly Bogan this year. Double digits in every game this season and three straight 20-point efforts for Bogan. Dyer misses long on the second free throw. 82 to 40. Carson Newman by 42. 13-13 to go in the second half. Buffs with it front court. Johnson free throw line. Spins around on Satterfield. Hits Carlson right block. Wymanson back tapped him. Satterfield comes away with the steal. Satterfield up the right sideline to Browder. Browder drives inside. Drops it off. Beaker at the 10. Beaker throws it down. Count it. Plus one. Wymanson's ball movement leads to a Beaker flush. It's Richmond's second. The team's fourth. And an and one freebie for Ben Beaker. 84 to 40. Eagles match their biggest lead of the night at 44. Make it 45 as Beaker strokes home the and one free throw. 85 40. Carson Newman more than doubling up the buffs. Turned a 30 point halftime lead into a 85 40 edge here midway through the second half. Milligan with it front court. Richmond turns and hits Rivers' left elbow. Kick it into the right corner. Catch three, front iron, no from Jazz Johnson. Long rebound, Dyer ahead to Beaker. Runs the lane. Beaker plunges it through the rim. Timeout, Milligan. Carson Newman rocking and rolling. Beaker bringing Thor's hammer to the party. Milligan calls for time, and we step aside for a break. Back to Holt Fieldhouse with Carson Newman firmly in control. The bulge is 47. Back after this on the Eagle Sports Network. Dorm food got you down? Need a home-cooked meal? Then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long. From the morning with her $2.99 breakfast specials to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial, retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. Milligan ball out of the break. Carson Newman scored six in a row over the last 49 seconds to stretch the lead out to 47. 87 to 40 with 12 22 to play in the second half. And Milligan turns it over. A bounce feed into the right corner from McCaskill Rivers is errant into the concession stand. 
And the ball goes back to Carson Newman. Milligan's eighth giveaway here in the second half. He gives a chance to extend this 6-0 run and 47-point lead. Dyer, left wing with the basketball. Curls around a Browder screen, hits Jaw ahead of the key. Jaw over to Wymanson, right corner. Needs Browder left wing. Browder wants to catch triple. All strings for Jack Browder. He's got 14. It's a 9-0 run for Carson Newman, and the Eagles are up by half a hundred. 90-40 with 11.52 to play in the second half. Milligan front court. Right wing three. Won't go down from Tommy off the back iron. Rebound punched all the way out to the timeline where Rivers connects. Rivers. Over to Johnson, right point. Back to Rivers, right elbow. Jumper missed from 14, but that's because he got fouled. Jerry is Satterfield with a shove. Picks up his third. Team second free throws for Milligan when we return. 11.38 to go in the second half. Carson Newman, 90. Milligan, 40. Remember, this is a Milligan team that beat Union. The Division II Union in an exhibition game earlier this season. Impressive showing by Carson Newman. Back for more after this on the Eagle Sports Network. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser-focused on your success. We love to cheer for our home teams, like the Eagles. It means more when we're rooting for the people we know. Did you know Trilight is your home team internet provider? We're right here in Jefferson City, serving the people we know with our ultra-fast, ultra-reliable fiber broadband network. And we'd love to serve you. Learn more at Trilight.net or by calling 833-847-0824. Go Eagles! 11.38 11.38 to play in the second half. Carson Newman has built a 90-40 lead over Milligan. And now Ms. Caskill Rivers is at the line trying to stop a 9-0 Carson Newman run. Won't do so with the first as it goes halfway down and pops out over the right side. One more free throw for McCaskill Rivers. Coming into this one, 35 of 40 at the line on the season. He's two for five. Make it three for six tonight as he makes the second. 90 to 41, 49 point lead for the Eagles with 11.35 to play in the second half. Wymanson into the front court for Carson Newman. Goes to Browder, right point, open look from deep. Browder missed it off the back iron. Rebound snared by Tommy, who brings it over the timeline center court. Goes inside for a right block J. Carlson connects from six feet out. 90 to 43, 47 point lead for Carson Newman. 11.13 to play in the second half. Eagles bring it right to left in the pristine home whites. Brennan, right wing. Moves left around the Browder. Screen finds Jaw ahead of the key. Uzman, one dribble, hands off Wymanson. Curls right, back to the left into the corner for Dyer. Dyer muscles inside, leaps and passes Brennigan. Right corner, catch three. Front of the 10, no good. Whistle, foul, battling for the rebound. Uzman Jaw charged with his third and the team's third. Ball back to Milligan. Darcy Newman, 13 to 23 from deep on the night, shooting 59% from the field for the game. Nice night offensively for the Eagles. Jazz Johnson into the paint, can't hit the leaner. Uzman Jaw grabs the rebound and then wrestles it away from Glenn Carlson. Up the right sideline to Bryce Wymanson. Wymanson curls around the jaw screen, gets it to Browder left wing, back to Wymanson up top. Wymanson clear sailing to the rack, lays it in. Lost his defender and has an easy two as a result. Seven for Wymanson. Hit 92-43, Eagles 10-14 to play second half. Milligan the other way. Rivers misses a J from the right side of the lane. Uzman Jaw grabs the rebound and then draws a reach and foul on Lincoln Tommy. His second, team's fifth. Dyer exits. Tyler Bowens enters. 10.09 to play second half, 92-43. Eagles leading Milligan. Carson Newman's beaten teams by 50 13 times in school history. Four of those have come against the Buffs. 
And the Eagles do it again. Brennigan bounces inside to Bowen's right block, bangs against Tommy, turns right hand hook. Bowen's gets the roll. First points for Tyler Bowen's. Every Eagle who has played has scored. And the Eagles' lead is 51. Biggest of the night at 94 to 43. Buffs the other way. Richmond down on the left block, turns and hits a leaner with a left hand pass. John. 94 45, Eagles 9 33 to play second half. Carson Newman front court. Browder, right corner with the rock. Jab step, moves inside, got stripped. Browder gathers it back, bounces it to Tyler Bowens, but it's too far in front of him and it goes out of bounds. Back to Milligan. Just the second turnover of the second half for Carson Newman. Milligan gets the ball back as Wymanson and Brennigan exit. Satterfield and Bridgewater enter. Don't think John Zhao is going to get a chance to add on to his 31-point night. As Carson probably will be methodically working the starters out of this contest. Two out there right now and Browder and Jaw. Left elbow, Jay goes in for Jazz Johnson. He's got seven. 94-47, Carson Newman doubling up the bus with 8.58 to play in the second half. Eagles with it front court. Browder, right wing. It's John ahead of the key. Uzman, one left hand dribble, flips it Satterfield, gets down the right side of the lane. Satterfield curls out into the right corner, 10 to shoot. Zips Bridgewater, head of the key, catch three, lances off the left iron. Richmond seals off Uzman Jaw, and Tommy gets the rebound, racing front court. Tommy all the way to the hole, airmails the layup. Bowen's the rebound. Ahead for Bridgewater. Bridgewater hits Satterfield, running the right side of the lane, backs it out right corner. Eagles set up in the half court. Bridgewater. Chest pass, Browder left wing, dropping off Bowen's left block. Backs down Tommy, spakes right, spins left, Bowen's beats Tommy, gets to the cup and lays it in with the right hand. 96-47, Eagles by 49. 8.08 to play in the second half. Milligan brings it left to right in all black. Tommy, head of the key, ball held in his right hand. One drill, switches to the left, kicks it left corner. Back to the head of the key, Tommy. Touch pass, left corner. Here's a long two from Bennett Bowers. Uzman Jaw grabs the rebound. Or check that, that was Jazz Johnson. And the Eagles bring it front court. Browder, drop it off Bowen's right block. Backs down his defender. Turns right into a double team. Chucks up a shot. It's blocked out of bounds by Flynn Carlson. And it stays with Carson Newman when we come back. 7.36 to play in the second half. Carson Newman cruising. Eagles up 96 to 47 on the buffs. An 18-0 run spanning the halftime break, helping the Eagles put this one away on the Eagle Sports Network. We love to cheer for our home teams, like the Eagles. It means more when we're rooting for the people we know. Did you know Trilight is your home team internet provider? We're right here in Jefferson City, serving the people we know with our ultra-fast, ultra-reliable fiber broadband network. And we'd love to serve you. Learn more at trilight.net or by calling 833-847-0824. Go Eagles! How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. 7.36 to go in the second half. Carson Newman in control. 96-47 to 47 over the Milligan Buffs. There's Carson Newman ball out of the break. Inbounds comes to Caleb Bridgewater at the left side hash. Gets inside and backs it out to Satterfield at the right point. Satterfield, Gorianski, Bowens, McElhaney, Bridgewater. Satterfield dishes out McElhaney. Extra pass, Bridgewater, left point three. Splash. Caleb Bridgewater cans the 14th three of the night for the Eagles, and Carson Newman's up by 52 for the first time tonight. 99-47 with 7-11 to play second half. Buffs with it on the offensive end. Into the right corner for Bowers. He stepped out of bounds. 17th Milligan turnover. Ball back to Carson Newman. 
Eagles have shot 60% from the game as Jamie Pay checks in for Tyler Bowens. Pay, Satterfield, McElhaney, Goryansky, and Bridgewater out there for Carson Newman. Satterfield over the timeline. Goes to McElhaney, feeds Bridgewater right wing. Bridgewater up at the head of the key for Goryansky in the left corner, Satterfield. Feed Pay left block. Pay spins right hand. Get, get it to fall. Rebound punched around. McElhaney grabs it and rattles it home from eight feet out. McElhaney helps the Eagles crest the century mark. 101 to 47. Now Pay a block on the perimeter. And he takes it away from Bowers. 101 47 Eagles. 6.30 to play in the second half. Eagles race front court. Satterfield all the way to the hoop. Can't get the runner to fall. Carlson the rebound, outlets it ahead to Richmond. Richmond goes in for the jam. Pay meets him at the summit. Doesn't let him dunk it, but he draws the foul. Jamie Pay walled up. Carson Newman's women's basketball team watching that one say, hey, that was clean. His first, team's fourth. Certainly drew a substantial round of applause. Richmond's free throw, long off the heel. One hundred one forty-seven. Another seven-zero run for the Eagles. Let's see. You've had seventeen two, eight zero, six zero, six zero, eighteen zero, nine zero, seven zero. As Richmond shorts the second, and McElhaney grabs the rebound. So what is this? Let's see. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven runs of 8-0 or greater or 6-0 or greater for Carson Newman tonight. You'll have that when you're up 54 on a team. Bridgewater over for Pay right corner. His heels were on the sideline. He's called out of bounds for Carson Newman's third turnover of the half and the Eagles eighth of the game. I'll just pick something. Literally anything. And Carson Newman's dominating it today. Points in the paint, fast break points, steals, assists, blocks, shooting percentages, Bench points, you name it, it belongs to the Eagles tonight. Hensley left wing tries a triple, back iron no. Goryansky taps the rebound to Jerry Satterfield, and the Eagles bring it front court. McElhaney has to save in a pass from the left corner, gets it to Satterfield, over to Bridgewater right wing. Bridgewater shoves it inside Goryansky, left hand leader, count it, and one. Sweet Dave Goryansky with touch. Eagles by 56. Count the basket plus the harm on Jay Richmond. His third, team sixth. Goriansky bends the knees, hand one free throws off the heel. Richmond grabs the rebound. And the Buffs try to stop this 9 0 Carson Newman run. Between the rings, Bowers. Shuffle it right wing for Tommy. Into the right corner, Rivers. Rivers drives baseline, gets the cup, air mails the layup, but he's fouled. Charge this to Goriansky, his first, team's fifth. And McCaskill Rivers will shoot two. Milligan hasn't scored in three and a half minutes. Rivers missed it long off the heel. Oh, Milligan cannot buy anything tonight. Buffs are 3 of 11 at the line. They're 4 of 23 from range. And shooting 30% from the field after halftime. Second free throw, Rivers rims out right side. Jamie Pay the rebound. And Carson Newman brings it right to left ahead by 56. Satterfield up to Bridgewater, head of the key. Loops to Goryansky, left elbow. Goryansky, one left hand dribble. Gets it to Bridgewater, back to Goriansky. Goes up and draws a foul. Nice ball movement by Carson Newman. Put the personal on Richmond. His fourth, team seventh. And David Goriansky to the line to shoot two. Carson Newman only has three double-digit scores in this one. Led by John Zhao's 31 as Koryansky gets the roll. But everybody who has seen the floor tonight for Carson Newman has scored with the exception of Jamie Pay. One more free throw for Goriansky. 
Buttery smooth for the seven footer. Eagles up by 58, 105 to 47 at the five minute mark, second half. Right wing, Tommy tries a triple, back iron no. Pay the rebound at the free throw line. Pay cut off in the backcourt, he'll get it to Jarius Satterfield, who weaves over the timeline, over the jump circle, and gets it to Bridgewater in the right corner. Hand off to Satterfield, back to Bridgewater, head of the key. Lobs to Goriansky, left elbow. Back to the basket. Goriansky puts the ball on the floor, hands off Satterfield, head of the key. Over to Bridgewater, left corner, catch three. Bank not open from the sideline. Bridgewater got his own board, second chance for the Eagles. Reset between the rings with Jerry is Satterfield. Satterfield for Goriansky at the left elbow. Goriansky on dribble, gets it to Jamie Pay. Tim to shoot. Pay, crossover on Rivers. Free throw line, hop step, right hand, leaner, won't go. McElhaney shoots in and tips it in from the right side. Carson Newman is up by 60, 107 to 47 at the four minute mark, second half. Buffs bring it front court. As it stands right now, third largest margin of victory in school history right now for Carson Newman, if this result were to hold. Rivers, right wing, a steal at the head of the key by Bridgewater. Bridgewater racing to the rim. He finger rolls it home with the right hand, much to the displeasure of the Carson Newman bench that his old man game didn't have the springs to dunk at home. 109 to 47, Eagles by 62. There's the string snapper by Jay Richmond right baseline to stop Carson Newman's 15-0 run. 109-49, Eagles by 63-22 to play in the second half. Carson Newman front court. McElhaney on the right block, shot up. Richmond towards it. Richmond on the hot front court. Shovels it off for Bowers between the rings. Deep NBA three, cans it from 27 feet out. 109-52. Buff cut it to 57 with 3.02 to play in the second half. Carson Newman with it front court. McElhaney between the rings. Looks left, now lobs Goriansky, right elbow. Goriansky feeds Pay, left wing. He wants a triple, back of the rim, no good. Bridgewater poked the rebound out and Bowers grabs it, left wing. Bowers sends it ahead for Tommy. Inside Richmond, Richmond knocks over Pay. He got a whistle and a foul on Jamie Pay and two free throws for the Buffs. 2.40 to play in the second half. Carson Newman, 109. Milligan, 52. Eagles cruising in this one. Back after these messages for the final 2.40. You're on the Eagles Sports Network. When you're sick and tired of fast food and need a fresh home-cooked meal, turn to Lisa's Country Kitchen. Lisa's been cooking up her fresh, never-frozen food for the Lakeway area for more than 15 years. Lisa's cares about her customers. You may enter a stranger, but you'll leave a friend. From footlong hot dogs to juicy steaks, Lisa's has the best food for the best prices. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. There's something about a small community that unites us, whether it's cheering on our favorite team or the way we come together in a crisis. Small communities are made up of people with big hearts. We're dedicated to hard work and innovation through sunny days and stormy nights. AEC is always here, powering the people and the places that make our community a spectacular place to call home. AEC, power what matters most. In all, Carson Newman in this one. The Eagles leading... 9 to 52 with 2.40 to play in the second half. The Jay Richmond at the line for the Buffs. Out of the break, rattling home the first of two to make it a 109-53 lead for Carson Newman. Second free throw is in nothing but strings. 109 to 54, Eagles by 55 with 2.35 to play in the second half. Eagles get it onto the offensive end. Goriansky, head of the key, Bridgewater at three, spins out left side. Tommy the rebound, buffs on the hop from left to right. Tommy into the right corner for Richmond, back to Tommy right corner. Drive, dish, Johnson right wing, moves down the right side of the lane, leaps and passes for 
Hensley left wing. Hensley for Bowers out of the key. He tries another three. Back iron, no. Jamie P. Pay jumps over top of McElhaney to grab the rebound for the Eagles. Carson Newman on to the offensive end. Bridgewater lobs McElhaney left block. Back to the basket. Tries to find a cutting Gorianski. Instead, he finds the buffs, Tommy. Tommy into the front court. Lost the handle on it at the head of the key. And a loose ball fouled on, foul on Caleb Bridgewater. His first and the team's sixth. Everything going Carson Newman's way in this one. Eagles hit a half-court shot. They've gone on at least three double-digit scoring runs. And let's count them. A 15-0, a 9-0, an 18-0, two 6-0s, an 8-0, a 17-2. And you're up 55. You've got to have a lot of those when that happens. Don't see that, that too often, but it has been squarely in Carson Newman's favor tonight. First free throw for Tommy reigns in. He earns the second, 109 to 55. Carson Newman by 54. Eagles led by as many as 64 tonight. One more free throw. Front of the rim, back iron twice, and down through the nylon. 109-56, Eagles by 53. Carson Newman get its 14th 50-point win in program history. Jamie P. drive inside, shot blocked from behind. Rebound punched out of McElhaney's hands, and it stays with Carson Newman. Little 9-0 Milligan run over the last minute 51 as Carson Newman hasn't scored in two minutes. Pay will inbound from the right baseline. Lobs McElhaney, kick Bridgewater right corner, pump fake the three, drive the baseline, bounce it. Kicked out of bounds by Richmond. Stays with Carson Newman. Pay will inbound from the right baseline. Flips in to the head of the key. It's through McElhaney's hands. Tommy scoops it up. Tommy behind the back. Drives inside. Got a shot blocked from behind by Jamie Pay in transition. Satterfield the board. Ahead to Pay. Pay running right side of the lane. Went in for the jam. Couldn't flush it clean. Oh, that would have brought the house down if Pay flushed that. Buffs the rebound running front court. Jay from the middle of the lane. Hensley knocks it down. 109 to 58. Eagles by 51 with under a minute to go. Satterfield across the timeline. Goes to McElhaney between the rings. Switch it to Bridgewater left wing. Lob Gorianski up top. Shuffle Satterfield right wing. Inside Pay. Pay position on his defender. Goes up and throws it down with two hands. Much to the delight of Carson Newman's bench. Every Eagle who has played has scored. Jamie Pay has his first career bucket. 111-58, Eagles by 53. Buffs onto the offensive end. Richmond gets behind Gorianski for a lay-in. Shot clock is off, and Carson Newman can dribble out the final moments in this one. 111-60, Eagles by 51, as Caleb Bridgewater and Carson Newman go four corners against the Buffs, putting some pressure on the ball to force the Eagles to dribble. But Carson Newman does not need to shoot in what has been an utterly dominant 40 minutes of basketball for Carson Newman. Eagles winners, 111 to 60 over Milligan. Carson Newman shoots 55% from the field, buries 14 threes, and dominates every facet of the game en route to its 14th win by 50 or more points in school history. Five of those have come against Milligan all time. Eagles prevail 111 to 60 over the Buffs. Domino's Post Game Report headed your way when we come back after this on the Eagles Sports Network. At InterDigital, we strive to be a leading provider of cutting-edge digital and marketing solutions. At InterDigital, we want to help our clients find success. 
Our team of technology gurus work together to ensure InterDigital continues to progress forward as technology advances. At InterDigital, we make technology work for you. Visit InterDigital.com for IT support, web development, virtual tours, graphic design, internet marketing, mobile app, and film production services. InterDigital, laser focused on your success. Serving East Tennessee for 40 years, Magaha Electric is the perfect choice for all your electrical projects. Magaha Electric specializes in commercial retail, manufacturing, residential, and industrial contracting needs. Magaha Electric can provide superior service, technical know-how, and realistic budgeting for any size project in a timely, cost-effective manner. Visit MagahaElectric.com for all your electrical contracting needs. Magaha Electric, your East Tennessee electrical contracting source. Grab a slice. Our coverage of CN Hoops continues with the Domino's Post Game Report on the Eagle Sports Network. We select our insurance companies the same way you do, very carefully. When you work with us, you can count on receiving fast, courteous, and professional service and quality protection through auto owner's insurance. For a no-problem approach for your life, home, car, and business insurance needs, ask us about the no-problem company, Auto Owner's Insurance. Call Bible Insurance Agency at 423-586-4320 or go by 1600 East Andrew Johnson Highway in Morristown. Serving the Lakeway area's insurance needs since 1931. Domino's Pizza in Jefferson City has deals for Carson Newman students. Bring in your valid student ID when you order for pickup or delivery, and Domino's in Jefferson City will give you a steaming hot large one-topping pizza for $4.99. That's a large one-topping pizza for Carson Newman students for $4.99 at Domino's in Jeff City. Call 865-471-6700 to order. That's 865-471-6700. Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. This is the Domino's Post Game Report on the Eagles Sports Network. We're going to get back to our lob. Dyer throws it down with two hands. Your stats breakdown. A conversation with Chuck Benson. Presented by Modern Woodman Financial Planning. Plus the selection of the AEC Electrifying Play and Food City Player of the Game are all headed your way. Today's game is also brought to you in part by Appalachian Electric Cooperative. We're AEC, powering the Eagles and Mossy Creek. By Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. By the Eagle Club, the family of Eagles. By Pepsi, that's what I like. By Magaha Electric, providing quality electrical services and products to East Tennessee for more than 40 years. By First Bank, the official banking partner of Carson Newman Athletics, Inner Digital. IT support and marketing, laser focused on your success by the Bible Insurance Agency, the agency that's service built by Lisa's Country Kitchen, the best food for the best prices, by Food City, value every day, by Trilight, dream big with gig, by Modern Woodman Financial Planning, touching lives and securing futures, and by ShopCNEagles.com, the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. Let's head back to the arena and the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier. No troubles for Carson Newman inside of Holt Fieldhouse tonight. Eagles wallop Milligan, 111 to 60. The battle for the Papacy, the Pope Bowl, the twin ADs of Carson Newman and Milligan. The prettier twin, Matt. His team gets the win, 111 to 60, over a million. Uh, this one was all Carson Newman, uh, really from the jump. Eagles opened up a 14-5 lead by the under four media, uh, and then used a 17-2, an 8-0, a 6-0, a 6-0, an 18-0, a 9-0, and a 15-0 run. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven runs of 6-0 or greater in this game. And, of course, there would be when you're beating a team by 51. Eagles were up 30 at the break and kept the foot on the accelerator after halftime for a 111-60 final score for Carson Newman over Milligan. Eagles 14th all-time win by 50 or more points. And Carson Newman's fifth out of those 14 
against the Buffs. Uh, great scoring balance for Carson Newman. The Eagles played literally everybody today. 14 guys see the floor, everybody who was healthy, and every single one of them scored. John Zhao led the way with 31 points, complemented by 14 point nights from Jack Browder and Nick Brennigan. And genuinely, everybody who played uh, was efficient. Uh, all of the, the starters and, and the usual pl players, uh, everybody shot at minimum 45% from the field, uh, if not better. And that, that's what happens. It adds up uh, into a 51-point win for Carson Newman over Milligan. Pick literally anything, uh, and the Eagles dominated it. Carson Newman was plus 14 on the glass. In spite of shooting 55% from the field compared to 37% from Milligan, the Eagles had more offensive rebounds than the Buffs. Carson Newman had more second-chance points. They had more points off turnovers. They nearly doubled up Milligan in points in the paint, 50-26. to 26. Outscored the Buffs on the fast break in transition by 19. And the bench outscored the Buffs. Granted, Milligan playing without some players today. Luke Lentz was hurt. Uh, he was a 12-point a night scorer. Uh, but uh, 12 points a night isn't made up when you lose by 51. And Carson Newman certainly had it in spades today against the Buffs. Eagles did a nice job against Folly Bogan. Uh, reigning AAC Player of the Week. Did get to double digits with 11, but held 14 points below his scoring average. Uh, he was efficient when he touched the, the basketball, five of nine from the field. But in large part, Eagles were able to keep Bogan uh, at bay. Uh, the leading scorer was Lincoln Tommy. He finished with 14 points. Nobody played more than 24 minutes in this one for Carson Newman. That was Jack Browder and John Zhao. Uh, Browder was out there for 24 minutes. John Zhao was out there for 23 uh, minutes. Well distributed uh, tonight. Eagles hand out 29 assists on 41 made baskets. Uh, again, literally pick anything. And... It squarely is in Carson Newman's favor uh, in this game. And the Eagles have their get-right game after the loss on Saturday uh, to Lander. Time now for our AEC electrifying play of the game. And, of course, it is the half-court heave from Bryce Wymans and after his steal. Seven, seven seconds left in the first half. Final possession for the Buffs. Bogan. Right wing, tried to step back, Wymanson steals it. Half court heave on the way, Wymanson, bullseye at the buzzer. Bryce Wymanson, the steal, and the stinger from the half court stripe. So Bryce Wymanson's half court heave and preceding steal, our AEC electrifying play of the game, AEC member owned and service driven after all you're not just a utility customer you are a co-op member AEC bringing value to everyday life we're on the Domino's post game report Adam Cavalier alongside Edmonds basketball coach Chuck Benson uh, a lot went right today Chuck uh, first off I received word uh, that a certain basketball-minded family likes it when we eat on air. So I got myself a chicken wing, and I didn't get you anything. Uh, that shouldn't surprise you. So I'm going to eat on this, and I'm going to okay. listen, listen okay. to you pontificate okay. Okay. Uh, about this wing. Congrats. Interesting ha that, what, you, interesting that you in reference pontificating when we had the battle <laughs> of the popes tonight. But, Very no, interesting. It's the battle for the papacy or the Pope Bowl. <laughs> um, uh, boy, what well, uh, uh, did everything right tonight, it felt like. Everything went well for us. Um, you like those kind of games when, uh, you like those kind of games when, you know, everybody gets a chance to play and, and, and plays well. Uh, we don't believe in Rudy minutes. We don't believe in that. If you're on the floor, you've earned the right to be on the floor. And so um, uh, I was just pleased that everybody got a chance to play. Everybody that played scored. But the standards of our execution uh, we're still uh, in play, and our, and our guys uh, 
performed uh, well, regardless of what the scoreboard was saying. Did some things that you don't typically do with your zone, and that's turn people over. Yeah. First 18 turnovers, 13 of them on live ball steals. Uh, that leads to an 18th point edge and points off turnovers, a 26-7 ed edge yeah. and fast break points. Was that a part of the plan, or did that just happen naturally? It happened naturally. It was not a part of the plan. Uh, <clears throat> we, we had some really game-specific goals we were shooting for, uh, and, and we actually uh, met exceeded those, so I was really pleased with that. But, uh, uh, yeah, th th those steals, that was not something we were talking about or focused on at all. John Zhao goes for 31. Uh, that's a new career high. What did you see from your efficient Sevier County product? Uh, you took the words out of my mouth, efficient. And he's the kind of guy when he's got when he's hot and feeling it, he, he, he's a problem. Um, so we're happy for John. I, is that his career high? New yeah. career high. Oh, yeah. First career 30-point yeah. game for him. And, and, the, and the reality is played him 23 minutes, Kevin. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, sh we shared the minutes, and he – if we'd have played him in that 28, 30 minute range, he, he, he might have been in that 35 to 40. But he, he's about the team and about our success, not his own success. And so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for John, but I'm ha he, he's happy for everybody. Uh, probably mm -hmm. equally pleasing to see Jack Browder distribute the ball. Yeah. Uh, tonight. Yeah. Uh, career <laughs> high six assists <laughs> yeah. for a guy who was, uh, what, minus 13 yeah. assist to turnover ratio through the first two games it's, it's been killing him and we've been of course giving him uh heck about it so <laughs> for him to get the six and ironically as, as proud as we are for jack you know trey still led us with seven assists yeah. uh uh so you know uh when we're sharing the ball man uh good things happen for us and everybody everybody you know giving give more than expected give more than assist than you expect and good things happen how pleasing is it you bring up trey hubbard uh, a night after uh, Lander, where he was kind of a volume shooter, uh, a career-high 21, he was just as easily able to, to seg back into the role of a distributor at the point. Uh, seven assists, one off his career high that he had at Queens. Well, obviously, uh, Kevin, you know what I'm going to say, styles make fights. <laughs> and uh, Lander's defensive strategy was different than the strategy we saw tonight. And so Trey had to play two different kind of games. Uh, the game he played at Lander was unique to that particular opponent and their defensive strategy. And the game he played tonight was unique to this specific defensive opponent and their strategy. So kudos to him he's able to do that. Uh, I've said it before, man. Trey's – I'm his third coach in three years, second program in three. Uh, so he's – he's in some, this is his first go-around with Carson Newman, his first go-around with, with our coaching staff, with his teammates. And, and he missed the preseason. So I know he's behind in some areas, but I've got very high standards for him because I think he can be great. I didn't say good. I think he can be great. So my standards aren't going to – they're not going to come down. And, and, and you know, we're, we're working through that. And uh, I've said before, he loves it. He cares greatly. And he wants to be good. So – and he wants, he wants to win. So uh, we're, we're going to continue to, to get to, to get everything ironed out uh, with him. Defensively, you had to contend with hmm. the AAC's reigning player of the week, Folly Bogan, had rattled off three straight 20-point nights, had a 38-point game mixed in there granted milligan emptied its bench as well but you hold him uh to 11 14 below his season yeah, average. i mean you what'd know, you do to claim that well I, I mean, that was one of our that was one of our challenge points i mean he's a uh he was third or fourth in the country in ai and scoring and uh we made a big emphasis about we want to 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 force other guys to step up and to take him out of it and and uh you know and our guys did a great job he had eight the first half and we cut that down to three the second half yeah let, uh, fewer minutes for sure, uh, but for him, 24 minutes is more than enough time to, to put up 20 plus points. And credit to our guys for defending at the level they did. Off for the rest of the week. Saturday brings Clayton State in for an earlier tip, 1 p.m. against the Lakers in a return game uh, from last year. Neither team could miss last season down at the lock. What do you have to do to get ready for the Lakers? Uh, well, first of all, I, I think they are. Uh, much improved. Uh, Vince Alexander's team always are going to – he's going to have elite talent, which he has. He's got incredible size, uh, high-end athleticism. Uh, they defend. Man, they just defend. So it's going to be it's going to be a, uh, a challenge for us. But, but you know, uh, we, we need that. We, we, we need that this coming weekend before we go into the next week open up in conference play. And I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see how our guys 
uh, respond in preparation this week and then obviously in performance on Saturday. Chuck Vincent's post-game comments are brought to you by Modern Woodman Financial Planning, touching uh, lives. My beloved Taylor Hawkins. And securing futures. <laughs> Chuck, pleasure's all. Great. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Cap. That is Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach. Chuck Benson, Domino's Post Game Report, rolls on after this on the Eagle Sports Network. How do you know you're in a community, not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into First Bank that you are in a real community bank. Great products, direct access to your local bankers, and relationships that can last a lifetime. Don't just have an account. Have a community with First Bank. Member FDIC. Dorm food got you down? Need a home-cooked meal? Then Lisa's Country Kitchen is for you. Lisa's Country Kitchen has been feeding Carson Newman students for 15 years. Lisa's has a family-friendly atmosphere all day long. From the morning with her $2.99 breakfast specials to dinner with Lisa's fresh, never-frozen steaks. Carson Newman students get a 10% discount with their student ID. Lisa's Country Kitchen on Route 92 off Old Andrew Johnson Highway. The best food for the best prices. Miss out on tonight's postgame interviews? Check CNEagles.com for stats, recaps, and videos from tonight's games. We close out the Domino's postgame report in 60 seconds on the Eagle Sports Network. This is Carson Newman, men's basketball alum, Taylor Hawkins. I want to help your family secure its financial future. I'm with Modern Woodman Financial Planning, where we touch lives and secure futures. Let Modern Woodman protect your family's financial security through life insurance, retirement planning, and financial services. You can contact me, Taylor Hawkins, at cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. That's cneagles.com forward slash modern woodman. Help secure your family's financial future through Modern Woodman Financial Planning. TriLight is proud to support Carson Newman Athletics. We salute the student athletes who are working hard to make great things happen on the field, in the classroom, and in the world. It takes vision, commitment, and teamwork, qualities we share at TriLight. Our mission is to provide life-changing opportunities by building a world-class fiber broadband network. If you'd like to learn more, please visit TriLight.net or call us at 833-847-0824. All right, back on the Domino's post-game report. Adam Cavalier alongside Jamie Pay following Carson Newman's 111-60 thrashing of Milligan. Jamie, uh, first career points tonight, and it comes on a dunk. Breakdown, uh, the this, this stretch run is um, that second group uh, came in and uh, gave no quarter. Yes, sir. First, I want to say all glory to God, man. I wouldn't be here without him. But, um, I mean, like you said, first career points and – I mean, I couldn't imagine uh, scoring my first college points a better way, and uh, it was just awesome. Jerry just posted me up. He fed me the ball. I dunked it, and it was just kind of fabulous. I, I actually can think of a better way to score your first college ah. points, <laughs> and that's if you had flush the previous yeah. dunk attempt on the break. Yeah. That would have been just as touch – a touch better. Yeah, I got a, I got a little a little scared with that contact, <laughs> but I still I still got to finish that. You're right. You're right. Um, how fun is it uh, watching the bench come to life? Uh, the level of enthusiasm. Uh, you were the last guy that the only one of the 14 who had it scored right. tonight. Uh, when when you put that one down. Man, it's just awesome to see like everybody on the team pushing everybody, cheering everybody on. Even the starters, they played a great few minutes or in that second half and. Like, they're on the bench. They're still cheering everybody on. Just to have that kind of support from the bench is just awesome. Great teammates. Jack Browder joked during walkthroughs that your uh, rebounds per 40 are, is, well, through the roof. It's around 16 boards per 40 minutes. <laughs> uh, freshman, you're working your way into the lineup. Right. Uh, but back-to-back -back appearances for you in games where you've had four boards in limited minutes. What is it about your game that leads to – uh, pulling and rebounds. Man, CB just told me straight up, like, I'm going to impact the game on defense and rebounding. So just kind of trying to focus on that. That's one thing. He says we can control how hard we crash boards. That's one thing he likes to focus on. So I try my best to go every time get a board. 
A lot of good vibes from this one. Yes, uh, anytime you win by 51, doesn't happen too often. Right. Uh, just the second time since Carson Newman's moved to Division Two that it's won a game by 50 mm. and the 14th time in school history. How do you build on these good vibes with a tough Clayton State team coming to town on Saturday? Um, I mean, we got to take that win. Uh, we got to take it, and but we can't hold on to it for too long. Like that, that's a team we're supposed to win like that. We got to stay poised. We got to stay uh, level-headed and just come in every day putting in work each game at a time. Jamie, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Thanks for having me, Gav. That is Carson Newman freshman forward Jamie Pay. Carson Newman beats Milligan 111 to. 60 quickly around the shopcandeagles.com scoreboard before we bring David Goriansky to the microphone, our Food City player of the game. One other men's game in action today, and there are 55 seconds left in the second half. And Lees McRae has an 80 to 70 lead over Tusculum. The Bobcats. On their way to a fourth straight win, should they be able to hold on defensively, really clamp, put the clamps down on the Pioneers after halftime. Tusculum just shooting 31% from the field after halftime. Lees McRae, a respectable 44%. Uh, Jalen Crotter playing against his former team, leading the way with 15 points, including a 5 of 9 mark from beyond the arc. Uh, off the bench, mind you, for Jalen Crotter. Uh, Connor Jordan leading Tusculum with 13 points. That is, though, 13. Now 16 points as Tusculum cuts it to seven with 35 seconds left in the second half. We'll uh, maybe finalize that score after our chat with David Goriansky. David, uh, firm work uh, in your first action as an Eagle, your first career bucket. An and one. Break down uh, what happened there. Uh, honestly, Kev, if I was to tell you my game plan, I was sitting on that bench all game, getting excited, man. Had a, I felt bouncy in the warm-ups, and I was just thinking in my head, I'm going to try dunk on somebody. That's usually <laughs> my game plan. Usually my game plan in every game I play. But, yeah, obviously I didn't, didn't get the dunk, drew the foul. I had actually two attempts, drew fouls both times. So I guess uh, – yeah. Good things came out of that. But, yeah, if it's one thing I can try to go in and do in a game, it's dunk a basketball cap. At, at seven feet, feet uh, easier for you than for somebody of my uh, yeah. uh, height. Uh, <laughs> I need a ladder. Uh, it's three points for you, a, a rebound. Uh, enthusiasm for you uh, and for uh, guys like Jamie Pay seeing their first action. What's that mean to you to receive that uh, ovation from not only your teammates but the football team? Uh, I enjoying this win. Yeah, uh, it feels great, man. It feels great to be out on a basketball court, play basketball. I had a struggle in the preseason a little bit with an injury, back injury I was fighting. Mm -hmm. It's a cost of being seven foot tall, <laughs> I guess. And uh, I'm, I was really happy to get out on the court, especially like looking on the, out on the bench or bench and just seeing everyone rising on the floor, cheering, just happy for me and happy for all the guys. And also – very proud of Jamie seeing him get out in the court. He's a great guy. He got some good minutes tonight, and everyone got some good minutes. We just played good team basketball, and I think we have a lot of trust with each other. I think the most impressive thing uh, when you got down to uh, players 9 through 14, th there was no quarter. Uh, you out That crew at the end of the game uh, outscored Milligan as everybody else had. In fact, a 15-0 run. Uh, th that you were a part of. Uh, how proud are you of the ability to uh, extend things out uh, down the stretch run and, and, and maintain uh, the discipline that would be expected of uh, others? Uh, very proud, yeah. CB, we were in a media timeout. CB, Coach Benson was talking to us saying that, you know, we just got to keep the same, stay locked in. doesn't matter what group of five is out in the court. And I think, I mean, we have a very deep team, I think. That's probably – Coach Benson's biggest blessing and his biggest curse is that, you know, our team is so deep, anyone can play one through 16, 17. Yeah. So, uh, you know, no matter what group of five guys, I'm cramping in my knee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are uh, uh, literally cramped. Fit, yeah, you know, yeah. Li literally cramped. Struggling in, yeah. to fit in the table, yeah. But, no, just uh, no matter what group of five guys is out there, I think we're always very locked in and trying to perform. And How do you build upon this one? Uh 
as a team with Clayton State coming in here on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're a, a good Peach Belt opponent. Um, tonight, I think we just chill, celebrate. We had a pretty long weekend of basketball. You know, got some wings in the locker room. Going to go eat those. And then I think, you know, starting from tomorrow, coming all the way up till Saturday, we're going to be locked in again. And, you know, we're going to do what we do and uh, prepare for Clayton. All right, Dave, thanks for the time. Cavs. Congrats. Thank you, Kev. That is Carson Newman's sophomore center, David Gorianski, as the Eagles prevail over Milligan, 111-260. David is our Food City player of the game. Value every day, Food City. Well, I, I thought we might have a result from uh, Lees McRae and Tusculum. Uh, we don't. Uh, there were back-to-back -back timeouts called. And Lees McRae holding on to an 80-75 to 75 lead over the Tusculum Pioneers with 25 seconds uh, left in that one. Well, our next presentation of Carson Newman Athletics comes your way on Wednesday when Carson Newman women's basketball takes on Belmont Abbey. That's a 5.30 tip-off, 5.15 airtime. Andrew Rogers will have the call of that one here on the Eagle Sports Network. For our entire crew, Jay Adams running the show back inside of network control as well as our broadcast crew in-house. Our director tonight, Mia Toribio, our replay operator, Ian Johnson, and our camera operators, Itzi Ayala, Hunter Williams, Elena Corbett, and Molly Buckowitz. I'm Adam Cavalier. Once again, thanks for joining us. The final score from Holt Fieldhouse Eagles collect their 14th 50-point win all-time, 111-60, to the triumph over the Milligan Buffaloes. Until Wednesday when the Eagles take on, the Lady Eagles take on Belmont Abbey at 5.30, and next Saturday when men's basketball takes on Clayton State at 1, 12.45 one, er, here, time for that one. I'm Adam Cavalier. Thanks for joining us. Once again, the final score from Holt Fieldhouse. Carson Newman, 111, Milligan, 60. Have a pleasant rest of your Monday night. And good night, everybody. You've been listening to Domino's Post Game Report on the Eagle Sports Network. Today's game has been brought to you in part by Appalachian Electric Cooperative. We're AEC, powering the Eagles and Mossy Creek. By Domino's, the official pizza of the Carson Newman Eagles. By the Eagle Club, the family of Eagles. By Pepsi, that's what I like. By Magaha Electric, providing quality electrical services and products to East Tennessee for more than 40 years. By First Bank, the official banking partner of Carson Newman Athletics. The Inner Digital, IT support and marketing, laser focused on your success. By the Bible Insurance Agency, the agency that's service built. By Lisa's Country Kitchen, the best food for the best prices. By Food City, value every day. By Trilight, dream big with gig. By Modern Woodman Financial Planning, touching lives and securing futures. And by ShopCNEagles.com, the official online store of the Carson Newman Eagles. The executive producer of the Eagles Sports Network is Matt Pope. Producers Adam Cavalier, Ian Johnson, Andrew Drizzy Rogers, Mia Terribio, Caitlin Jones, and Ryan I Love the Herd Wilkes. I'm staff announcer Ernie Anderson. A special thanks to Carson Newman and University President Dr. Charles A. Fowler. Stay tuned to these stations for information on our next presentation of Carson Newman Basketball. In the meantime, visit CNEagles.com for recaps, highlights, and interviews from today's game. This is the Eagles Sports Network.